Hi second graders, Mrs. Cagney here. We are getting ready to start a science unit about insects and plants. Before we even start with the first lesson, however, I would like you to first do the activity that I assigned you that looks like this. Does that look familiar? It's called Plant and Animal Habitats and Needs. And when you click on it, let's see if I can get it to do it. You can drag, well, this isn't the one that you can drag it on, but you'll find it. You can drag the animals to the correct habitat. And let's see, I think there's another page. What does an animal need? You can drag the things it needs to the thumbs up and the things it does not need, maybe a bicycle, to the does not need. And then do the page, what does a plant need? And again, you put the things that it needs under the thumbs up and the things that plants do not need under the thumbs down. On your page, when you look at it, you'll be able to um, choose dragging the objects to the right spot. I'm not sure why it didn't show me that, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to figure it out. All right, and I think you'll have fun with it. Do that first and then listen to my video. So if you need to stop right now and go back and do the activity on the on Seesaw, go ahead and do that and then come back to me, okay? We're just going to read a couple pages in our science book and I have a piece of paper and some markers. You may go get a piece of paper also or maybe you already got it because I wrote it on there. <laughs> to get it right. We're going to take some notes as we go along. Normally I wouldn't want you to have your markers out like this, would I? But because I have to use one hand to hold the video camera, my phone actually, um, I needed to have them open. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to read a few pages and take notes and I like to do mostly writing for my notes because some of you know I'm not that great of a drawer. Some of you will prefer to draw, I think. So I'm going to start out on my note page by writing the word habitats because we're going to be looking at several habitats over the next few science lessons. Did you remember that I said we would have writing on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and science on Thursdays and Fridays? And actually our Friday lesson will usually um, be something fun that you could do at home, some kind of fun experiment or something to make, and it might not have anything to do with our science lesson. But Thursdays for sure will be our science um, lessons about insects and plants. Okay, so we're starting with habitats. Look at this grassland habitat. Do you see anything living here? Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Do you see anything living in the grassland habitat? I'm going to write over here some grass because I can draw grass. And then I'm going to write land, grass, land. If you want to write out grass, just like the book has it, you may do that. But this is going to be our first habitat that we're going to talk about. So I'm just going to put a little one there. It's our first habitat. What do you see living in that grassland? You see flowers? Vikings colors, yellow and purple, right? And grass, do you see the mountains in the background? Beautiful, ooh, do I see a bird in that cloud? I think I do. All right, 
are we ready to move on? Look, a grasshopper sits in the green grass. Oops, sorry. Grass plants and grasshoppers are living in this grassland habitat. Grass and grasshoppers get their basic needs met in the grassland habitat. Oh, you want to see the grasshopper up close? Oh, look at him. <laughs> are any of you drawing a grasshopper right now? I would really like to try it, but some of you know I'm really not a great drawer, but you can't you have to promise not to be laughing at me. I'm gonna show you my grasshopper here. <laughs> Pretty soon, I have to look at him a little better. Oh my word, you guys. Are you trying to draw one right now? Go for it, try. I forgot to get a red marker out for his eye. His eye is huge, isn't it? All right. Are you drawing him? Looks like their legs come out. Oh, rats, I didn't do that very well. <laughs> Here's how he's looking so far. Don't be laughing at me. I think I can hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I shouldn't have. I'm going to color this in. This takes a lot of talent, you know, to draw and hold a camera, a phone, and look over at the drawing. Anyway, there's my grasshopper. And all of his basic needs are met living in the grassland. Who do you think planned that out? God, that's right. God knew exactly what that grasshopper and all the other animals would need. And he knew exactly where to put them so that their basic needs were met. Let's go on. Land animals need, here we go, food. Let's see, I'm gonna use my brown. So I'm, good. I'm going to write some of my things that I'm not sure I could draw very well. They need food, they need water. I'm gonna draw some raindrops for water. And maybe like a little bit of a lake or a pond or something? I don't know. You get the idea. You do it however you want. They also need air. I'm going to draw some clouds just to kind of represent air. Is that okay? They need space. I'm going to get real creative here. They need space. They can't be too crowded. So I'm going to make my P over there. Okay, they need space. Are they going to get space in the grasslands? I think they are. And they need a comfortable temperature. So I'm going to just draw the sun. And hope that I remember that means temperature. You can write out that big old word temperature if you want to. But I bet you might want to draw a picture too. Grasshoppers eat grass for food and water. They get their water from the grass, right? In the grass, grasshoppers have air and shelter. They can camouflage well in the grass too, can't they? Mm -hmm. In summer, the grassland provides a warm habitat for insects like grasshoppers and other animals like prairie dogs. So cute. There's a lot of prairie dogs in Minnesota, aren't there? All right, we have one more page and then we'll be done. How's your note page going? Do you have anything similar to mine? I'm going to want you to take a picture of it when you're done and share it with me for your assignment. So make sure you get something done on it. And let's finish our reading for today. Plants need water, 
air, sunlight, and nutrient. Nutrients, sorry. So I'm going to draw a plant down here. And I am so excited to tell you guys that I have some daffodils and some tulips coming up in my yard. Man, I wish I would have got my red marker out. And actually, I don't think you would find tulips in a grassland. Tulips have to be planted in your yard. I might go outside when my tulips and daffodils start blooming and take a picture for you. So there's a plant. Just to remind us that plants need water, air, sunlight, and nutrients. So I'm going to put some drops of water. They need air. They need sunlight. Okay. And nutrients. Grass gets water and nutrients from the rich, moist grassland soil. Here it is, the soil. I don't want to draw grass, so I don't want to draw soil. Man, this is not great. That's okay, isn't it? I really shouldn't have drawn it too low, but that's okay. Their roots take up water and nutrients. Air flows around the grass. Grass uses sunlight to make the food it needs to live. So here I'm going to draw some grass again. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to draw the little tiny roots that go down in the soil to get the water. Draw some little raindrops down in there just to remind myself that those roots go down there to get the water and the nutrients. I always think of nutrients kind of like vitamins. Do some of you take vitamins? Yeah, we get a lot of nutrients in our food though, right? And the air flows around the grass to make the food it needs to live. And there we see the roots down in the soil. It's a good picture. All right, second graders. That's our habitat for today, grassland. Basic needs that the animals and the plants have are, say them with me, food, water, air, space, so they're not so crowded, and a comfortable temperature. And the plants need that too. God has given um, plants the ability to make their own food. And he put the animals right where they need to be to get what they need. You're not still laughing at my grasshopper, are you? <laughs> I hope not. Okay, um, take a picture of your notes for me and show me on your Seesaw page. And don't forget to do the little activity where you get to drag those animals and things over to where they should go. Okay? Have a good day.